Hey guys, and thanks for coming back to another video. So today's video is actually a tag video that Miss Rosie B and myself came up with together. If you don't know who Miss Rosie B is, of course I will leave um, links down below and I will annotate them all over. So you guys know that I auditioned for the U Generation competition and that's how I met Miss Rosie B because she was also one of the finalists. So we got in touch with each other and we came up with this tag video together. I will be tagging a whole bunch of people to do this video, so make sure you check that out down below. Um, if I haven't tagged you, then of course you are more than welcome to do this video yourself and make sure to leave me as a video response. So moving on to the love-hate tag video, um, we actually came up with eight questions and I think I'm just going to go right ahead and get started because I don't want this video to be too long. <laughs> So you guys know me, it's really hard for me to narrow it down to just one product. I tried, I tried, I tried, but um, I do have two. So if I had to just choose one product from high end, it would of course be my Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel. I am obsessed with this cream bronzer. It smells nice, it looks nice, it's easy to blend, it looks natural, and it doesn't break me out, which is very rare for me to find in cream products and I just love it. The packaging is beautiful. It's super, super expensive, but I love it and I think it is worth every penny. And then I'm kind of cheating here. Um, I wanna show two products that I have not yet used just because I'm obsessed with them at the moment and you know when you like a product so much you don't even wanna use it? Yeah, so these are the um, Chanel five color um, palettes, eyeshadow palettes, and they are just so beautiful and luxurious. But these two are from the Star Collection. These are limited edition. And oh my gosh, just look how beautiful they are. And they've got stars imprinted on them. So I just, I, I'm obsessed with them, but I haven't even used them yet. In terms of high-end products that I hate, um, this was actually a little bit easier for me because when a high-end product is not good, I hate it. Because when you buy a drugstore product that you don't like, I mean, it's annoying, but you probably only spent a few dollars on it. When you buy a high-end product that costs a lot of money and you don't like it, that's, that's really annoying. So the first product I want to show, I absolutely detest. And it is the Guerlain, um, what are these called? Meteorites Pearls Illuminating Powder. And I have Tint Rose 01. So the packaging is beautiful. You open it, you've got this sponge, you take that out and you've got the little pearls. So as you can see, the pearls are multicolored and this is supposed to give you like an illuminating effect. I just feel like the brush does not pick up product at all. It's like super dry, like there's no, nothing. Like you're brushing this on your face, you don't see anything, it's not illuminating, it doesn't set your makeup, it doesn't do anything. And this product cost about 60 or $70. So that's so expensive for something that does absolutely nothing. I also hate these mascaras. These are the Coraz mascaras. Both mascaras that I've tried from Coraz, I absolutely detest. Um, this one is the volumizing, what is it called? Volumizing Lash Conditioning and Strengthening Mascara. And this one is called the Pro Vitamin B and Rice Brand Mascara. They are both awful. They are chunky, they are dry, they clump. There's absolutely no difference in the way they look. Like if you use this one or this one, your lashes just look the exact same. Very, very spidery, does not hold a curl super clumpy like I said, um, they're just awful. They really are awful. And then the last high-end product that I absolutely hate, um, lucky enough, I didn't purchase it. I was actually sent this as a gift. Um, it is the Calvin Klein lip gloss and I don't even know what this color is. It doesn't even say. I think it's LG 47. Um, it doesn't even matter because the, the color is nice but the, it, the formula is just so thick and goopy and the brush just goes every which way like the hairs are all over the place. It is not nice on your lips. It doesn't look nice. It doesn't feel nice. It's just like goopy and I hate it. So moving on to drugstore, I'm happy to say that at the drugstore it was almost harder for me. I had a whole bunch of products that I loved and it was hard for me to narrow it down and as opposed to products that I hated which I didn't really have that many. So I'm gonna start with my NYX cream blushes. And this looks empty, but it's I haven't used it up. I just moved it over to a pan, um, to a palette. So this is Glow, and I love all of the uh, NYX cream blushes. I think they are so good for, the, um, for their value. They don't break me out, 
They're full of pigment. They dry and set, so they're very long lasting. And I just think they have just such a wide selection of colors at such a cheap price, and they're just amazing, and I love them. Of course, I could not talk about my favorite drugstore products without talking about drugstore mascaras. I think drugstore mascaras are absolutely incredible. I think mascara is definitely one of the items that we do not need to spend a lot of money on because there are some great ones at the drugstore. And I just want to quickly mention the Maybelline uh, the Falsies Volume Express. This is my absolute favorite drugstore mascara. I have, this is still in its packaging because I have so many of them in their packaging in the drawer, which I am not letting myself open yet until I finish all the mascaras that I have out um, now. So I love it so, so much and I highly recommend it. And then the two other products are actually like a set. Um, but I love them both on their own or together. This is the L'Oreal Nude Magic BB Cream. Um, this is the 5-in-1 Bare Skin Beautifier. And this is the BB Powder. So they're from the same line, but like I said, um, I use them separately or together. Today I actually have them both on. I love them. The BB Cream actually comes out white, and once you rub it in, it kind of adapts to your own skin tone. It just, just looks so beautiful, and it's the kind of thing where like, it's so clear that you're like, how is this even going to make my blemishes kind of disappear? But it does. It's, it's just an incredible product. I think it is magic, like it says, and I really, really love it. And then the powder as well. You cannot see it on your face. It sets your face. It keeps you matte for a fairly long time. And I absolutely love these two. As for the drugstore products that I hate. So like I said, it was very hard for me to find things that I would say I hate. But these two products I absolutely hate. This is the Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush Mousse Makeup. The foundation comes out like moussey and I don't even want to put it on my arm because I'm going to get all dirty. So basically this foundation I absolutely hate because when you spray it on your hand it comes out like one big mousse but within seconds it kind of diffuses and just becomes this really runny liquid on your hand. When you put this on your face it just doesn't cover anything so you find yourself putting more and more and then it just looks cakey and it just looks really really thick and you get shiny with it like so fast and there's just absolutely nothing going for this foundation. I think it is awful. The second product um, is not so, so bad, but I don't like it because you can't really see it on me. I think it's okay if you're very, very, very fair. This is the um, Deborah Milano Bronzer. What's it called? The Maxi Terra Bronzer. And this is in number two. And this is actually sold in Europe in drugstores, and I got this when I was in Italy. Um, the pigmentation on this is just very, very light. Like, the color itself is extremely light. Maybe I should have gotten a darker one, but I can barely see it on myself. Not enough, definitely, for contour for myself. And what I don't like about it, and why I hardly ever use it or take it with me, is just because it's so big and I mean as a makeup artist it's just not practical for me to take in my makeup kit because it's huge. So let's begin with my beauty blender. I love the beauty blender. I love the way it looks um, when you use it for foundation. It just blends perfectly. It's definitely one of my favorite ways to apply foundation and concealer and I think that the, specifically the beauty blender itself as opposed to just any other sponge there's something about it that just makes the application even more beautiful. But what I hate about the Beauty Blender is that clearly, as you can see, it gets dirty with your foundation. And in order for it to not look like this, you literally need to wash it every time right away. And sometimes you get lazy in the morning or you're in a rush. So you use it, you leave it out on your shelf, and then it gets all like gross. You can't really wash that out anymore. It'll never go back to being white. And just the thought of how much like bacteria and grossness is in this sponge it just grosses me out. Next product that I have a love-hate relationship with is my Makeup Forever HD Foundation. I absolutely love the way this looks, blends, I love the coverage it gives. It just looks absolutely beautiful on the skin. But for me, I have extremely oily skin and this does not hold up, meaning it it's long lasting, but I do get really shiny with it very, very quickly. So if I do want to use this foundation, it means I need to be constantly re retouching, repowdering, using blot papers, and it's just a little bit of a headache. If you have normal skin or normal to combo skin, I think you will absolutely love this foundation because it is just beautiful and I love it. I also have two lip products that I have a love-hate relationship with. The first one is the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stains. I love the way these look. I love the smell. Um, I love the packaging. I love the color range. I love how long they last on your lips. There's so many things I love about it. The one thing that I don't love about it is that they really do dry out your lips like 
crazy, meaning you put them on and within a few hours you already feel your lips drying out. So many, many times I've wanted to put this on, but I've kind of changed my mind and said, no, I don't want to have to deal with that drying feeling and it gets put back in my drawer. And the next one is one that I talk about a lot and I always recommend it, but for the past little while I've noticed that there's something that I don't like about it that I didn't notice at the beginning. So this is being put into my love-hate relationship as well. It's the Rimmel Apocalypse lip lacquers and I think they are beautiful because they're so pigmented, the colors are amazing, they're very long lasting, I think they're just amazing on your lips. I, I absolutely love the way they look. The one thing I don't like about these is that they don't absorb they sit on top of your lips and you get so much transfer with them. I will put them on my lips and then I'll go have a drink and just my lipstick will be all over the drink. You can't eat with them because it just goes like all over. You get your whole face dirty with them. So that's something that I don't like about it. So if I'm going out to eat and I know I'm going to be eating or drinking, I have also like reached for it and then changed my mind and put it back in the drawer. So I do have a love-hate relationship with that as well. So this question is actually a little bit difficult for me to answer because I always feel, I always tell people, it's really hard to have just one brand that you love because I love so many different products from so many different brands. But if I did have to choose my most, like my favorite, favorite brand, it would have to be MAC. And not because I work at MAC, I think the fact that I wanted to work at MAC is because MAC is my favorite brand. I just think MAC has such a wide selection of colors, of textures, they make it so easy for you when you wanna buy something, you know exactly what you're getting, you can try everything on in the store. Um, the people who help you, the salespeople in the store are all professional makeup artists, so they all know what they're talking about. Um, and just, I think there's such a wide variety of everything that everyone can always find something that they love at MAC. And also it's Canadian, so Canadian like me, I mean, it's gotta be my favorite brand. I'm gonna say for my most hated brands, it's probably Guerlain um, because of this powder and the bronzers that I've tried, which I just don't love and I just don't think they're worth the money. Um, I just think it's far too expensive. The skincare is not so good because there's so much fragrance in it. So I'm going to say Guerlain, and I'm also going to say Clarins. Um, I've tried a bunch of stuff from Clarins, never been overly impressed, never really realized, never thought this was really worth the money. So those really high-end brands, mm, not as much. So for this question, um, I actually have one skincare product and one makeup product that I constantly constantly recommend to others, whether it's on my YouTube channel or to my friends in real life. So for skincare, it is the La Roche-Posay Effaclar Duo. This is the corrective and unclogging anti-imperfection care. It is amazing. It has totally helped clear up my skin, apply it morning and night, and it just will work wonders if you have normal to oily skin. And I always recommend my MAC Studio Finish Concealer for covering blemishes. Being someone who did grow up with acne, I know that it can be really hard on your self-esteem and self-confidence to have blemishes all over your face. And this product is a miracle product when it comes to covering because it's just such a full coverage, it's so easy to use, and I constantly recommend this. So the two products that I have repurchased the most throughout my lifetime are my MAC wipes, which are my favorite makeup removing wipes. They are a little bit pricey, but they are amazing. They are so wet and moisturizing. They don't dry out your skin and they are amazing at removing um, makeup. I just think they are incredible and I highly recommend them. And my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. This is my third one, which is actually very, very unique for me to repurchase something three times because I hardly ever finish products because I have so many of them. So just the fact that I've actually gone through two of these already, um, is it's a, that just goes to show that I use this almost every single day and I love it. I absolutely love it. So I'm the kind of person that if I absolutely hate a product, I try not to recommend it or pass it on to a friend because normally if I absolutely hated it, I won't really see a reason why somebody else would love it. But I do know that sometimes, you know, if there's a product that I just didn't really like the color so much or the texture wasn't exactly what I was looking for, obviously like a friend of mine might like it. So I do give them away. I do ask my friends, would you like this? But unfortunately, most of my friends don't really wear makeup as much as I do. So they don't normally want to take my used makeup anyways. So a lot of the time, it just ends up staying in my um, drawers because it's really hard for me to throw away products, um, especially if I hate them and especially if they're high end. Because I always just feel like 
maybe I'll come around to loving it because that has happened to me in the past where there's been products that I just did not like at the beginning, but then I've tried them again like six months later and then all of a sudden I fell in love with them. So it's really difficult for me to throw away, throw away products. Normally if products are not good for me because of my skin type, I will give them to my mom because my mom already has much drier skin, you know, aging skin, different than mine. So normally if a product I love but it goes really greasy or oily on me, I will give it to my mom. So if I had to choose just three things that I couldn't live without in terms of my own makeup and how I pretty much do my makeup every single day, it's contouring with bronzer, curling my eyelashes, and lining my upper lash line, whether it's with a gel liner, a pencil, today I did it with a pencil, or a liquid liner. But my absolute favorite makeup trend, which has been super popular over the past couple of years and is continuing to be popular, it's that very rugged brow, very filled in, very uncombed, um, like a wild brow. I know you're looking at me and saying, that's not what you have at all. I know because my brows, I don't know, for some reason I just, I feel like it doesn't work on me, but I love, love, love when I see like in magazines, just those like crazy brows, statement brows. I love them, I think it is beautiful. So that's gonna be it for this tag. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to go over and check out Miss Rosie B's version of this tag. I'm gonna have that link down below. Subscribe and leave her a comment saying that I sent you. If you did like this tag, make sure to give it a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.